Hello my friend, this is your faithful friend Sandra Graves and I want to share with you successful self-coaching and the reason why I came up with that is because I coach different people for businesses and for personal development and what I have noticed is that it's very hard once you have a meeting with your coach it is very hard for you to put into practice everything that you have actually talked about so this course is not as a replacement of the current coaching that you have however i do believe that you can coach yourself of course you require discipline and responsibility but i strongly believe that you can coach yourself because i have done it for many years i coach myself and i help myself to transform into what i have become i have become successful i have done the things that i wanted to do and i am still doing the things that i wanted to do and helping other people do it as well and i can help you not be behind you all the time but simply to be able to i try to put this class together this course together to be able to help you go through it think about the question you know i have some worksheet that um workbook or homework that i'm going to give you so that you can put that into practice because there is no such thing as self-coaching and just listening you definitely have to be clear that there must be some step that you need to take and the first step step is taking responsibility and that is something that i'm not going to go through a lot because really this is not a um, self-esteem course or a confidence class this is a coaching class and that is what i want to focus in this class but i want to uh, show you that you can coach yourself to success you can achieve the things that you want you can become who you want to be you can become a better version of yourself but it's all up to you you know even if you have a coach right now if you don't make a decision to become better than yourself to transform yourself they cannot help you they are only there to push you to get there faster to push you to achieve your goals to push you in a positive way not to force you to do so no one can force you to become what you are not ready to become it is all up to you Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends, for watching The Code. Don't forget that we are here every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are bringing you coaches and speakers and classes and experts in different areas in order to help you grow. That's what we are here for. So if you have any comments, questions, or if you are a sponsor, please send us an email to info at envivoassociate.com. Again, info at envivoassociate.com. With your host, Sandra Graves, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching The Call. It has been said that if we don't know where we are going, we're never going to get there. And that is the reason why it is very important for us to clear, clarify what is it that we want to achieve. So, as you see here, you know, it says set goals, make plan, get to work, stick to it, and reach your goals, right? But before you can reach your goals, you need to be able to define it, to be clear about what is it that you want to achieve. And the, the, the whole part about the, the coaching is about understanding your aspirations. What is it that you aspire to? What is it that you want? Do you want to um, achieve goals at work, at home? You want to achieve it spiritually? What are your goals? Because let me tell you something. A lot of people, they focus on, oh, they want to succeed professionally. But that is not always what everybody wants. Sometimes you have to break it down into different goals. And right now, I want you to focus on one goal that you want to achieve. You can go back to, um, to this video um, again and again and again in order for you to achieve other goals. But let's focus on one goal that you want to achieve. 
is that goal is personal you want to have a better relationship you want to have a relationship you want to excel at work you want to transition to another job you want to make more money maybe you want to work from home you know so you have to be able to define that and and be able to articulate what is it that you want to achieve okay um, I remember many years ago I wanted to um, buy a house my goal was to buy a house for my kids because when I was in Panama even though we were poor I had a house and my house was full of holes I could look at the neighbor through the holes and be able to see what the neighbor was doing because I would look through the hole I, when people pass by I could see through the hole to see what is it that they're doing but I had a house and that house was my home and I wanted to give that to my kids because we had an apartment that we would make a home but it always was changing our home constantly changed because we were in an apartment and I wanted to make, give them something more stable because coming to the United States I was moving around a lot I've been around the United States a lot so I wanted to give them something stable so I decided that my goal was to get a house for my kids that was my goal and I wanted to achieve that goal before I turned 35 which I achieved that however um, I didn't have a full-time job I was working temp um, for different companies um, I was living in an apartment um, I didn't have a husband I was single mom so there was a lot of things going on and I have to be able to identify all of those things so what I had to do is really clear why that was important for me and the reason why I can tell you that it you know getting a house was important for me because I sat down and I thought about it what was important for me I already had I already had graduated from from college I actually graduated from college as a single mom and I had achieved that so the other stuff that I wanted I'm like what is it that I want to achieve and I came up with that I wanted to have a house I wanted to buy a house and then I had to go through what did the house look like and what neighborhood I wanted my house to be in and then um, why okay why is very important because I wanted my kids to have the best and although I didn't have a lot of money in that time I made a decision that I was going to live in a good neighborhood even if I didn't have enough money to buy food that's a big step because I thought when I was in my country we live in a very bad neighborhood okay although in those days we didn't hear a lot of shooting at times I did I heard people this one got stopped this one uh, went to jail this one is selling drugs and although there are certain things we cannot control I could control where I live and I believe that I could do that so therefore I did a, a research I decided um, you know what where is it that I wanted to live what school I studied the school of, of uh, the rating of the school and then I, I learned what school was going to be good for my son and what school was going to be good for my daughter because it said that a lot of universities when they finish high school they come and look at that school and they although the tax was really high in in where I wanted the house I didn't care because instead of paying for private school I decided I will take I will send my kids to a good public school in a good neighborhood and you know what when I set that goal I had challenges I definitely had a lot of challenges and um and the funny part is is that um, as soon as I I set that goal I knew that there was going to be impacts so one of the things that I want you to think of is when you think about the why you want to achieve that goal I want you to think of three things that you want to focus on I'm not talking about three goals there's one goal but three things that you want to focus on I wanted my kids to have a home I wanted my kids to have go to a great school and I wanted to be proud of myself 
That was very important. I wanted to make sure that I gave my kids the things that I didn't have. So those were three important things for me. And why is it that it's important to have those three important things? Because when obstacles come, when challenges come, you remember your why. You remember your why. And my why is I don't want to live in a bad neighborhood because I don't want my kids to live in a bad neighborhood. I don't want to be my kids to be affected by their friends. I don't want my kids to get shot. I don't want my kids um, to, to I, I, I want my kids to be able to have the best of the best. That was one of the reasons. I wanted my kids to have a home. That was one of the big reasons. I was moving from apartment to apartment. My mom was an alcoholic and in my self-esteem talks, I actually talk about that um, in those days. And I was all over the place. And I decided I didn't want that for my kids. So having a home was very important. A home that they can come to. Even now I try to keep that home because um, and I and, and I was gonna sell this house a long time ago to get a bigger house. But then I thought, I didn't want that because if I did that, what if my kids, something happened to them in the future? What if, um, if they lose their job and they need some place to comfort them? A home, an old home is really awesome to be able to come back and relax from all the craziness of the world and be able to come back and enjoy your home where you grew up in. I wish I could go back to Panama and enjoy my old home, but I can't because we don't have it. When I go over there, somebody else lives there. And um, it's not even a home anymore. They destroyed the house and it's not there. And I wanted that for my kids. So right now I do everything that I can to be able to keep this house. And um, we are actually planning to buy another one, but I'm not gonna get rid of this house because I want my kids to be able to have something to go back to. That is the goal. So you see how my goal was very detailed. I knew this is what I wanted and the reasons why I wanted it, that was my why. And your why has to be so strong in order for you to be able to achieve your goal. And remember, I am here to help you, to support you, but I cannot do it for you. So if you have any comments, questions, or if you are a sponsor, please send us an email to info at envivoassociate.com. Again, info at envivoassociate.com. With your host, Sandra Graves, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching the call.